Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. One of the focuses that Rotary focuses on quite a bit right now, and it's moving more into that, is with our youth, the, the future of Rotary and the way it's going to be moving that direction. With me today, our special guest we have is Lee Gibbs, and she runs one of the Kern Youth Programs. Welcome, Lee. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Lee, tell us a little bit about yourself. A little bit. I was uh, born and raised in Barcelona, Spain, a native of Spain, and uh, moving forward, I went to high school and part of college in Manila, Philippines. I hold a dual citizenship, Spain and the U.S., and I've been here for a while. I met my husband in Bakersfield, and that's where I am. I'm from the Bakersfield Twilight Rotary Club. Okay, and what got you into Rotary? My husband, actually, <laughs> I, he didn't. I was a Rotary spouse for many, many years. He's a past president of Bakersfield East Rotary Club, mm -hmm. where our wonderful district governor, Sandy, is from. Right, right. And uh, following him around in all of those projects, I uh, landed as an administrator at Centennial High School in Bakersfield and saw a need for students to have an interact club. And uh, with the help of several Rotarians, including my husband and Sandy mm -hmm. and a few others, we got that club up and running with my son as one of the second presidents. Right. And uh, with my involvement with the interact club, um, Sandy one day said, why aren't you a Rotarian? <laughs> and so there it is. So I've been a Rotarian for about four years now, Great. officially. Officially. <laughs> yes. Good, good. So, um, question. Mm -hmm. Why not the East Club and the Twilight instead? Well, at the time, I couldn't attend. It was okay. lunchtime meetings. Oh, okay. And also, my background in marketing, it's good to divide and conquer. <laughs> so why not? That is yes. good. Right. And uh, the passion specifically for Rotary then came from the youth, and your, the programs working with them. So tell us a little bit about this uh, program you run, Kern Yes. Okay, I'm the co-founder and uh, co-chair of the Kern Yes. Yes stands for Youth Empowerment Summit. Okay. It started in CIMI. I need to give them all the credit because they started the program. They've been up and running for four years. I went and visited them and I was so impressed with the program. Um, and talking to several Rotarians, my husband included, we decided we really needed this in Kern County. Kern County is unique in that its high schools are spread far and wide. It's a huge county. Bakersfield alone now has 19 comprehensive high schools um, and also about 14 to 15 Rotary Clubs. I will be corrected on that, but a lot of <laughs> Rotary Clubs. We don't often collaborate. And more often than not, we do not collaborate with the youth. So when I saw this program, um, talked it over with Steve, my husband, plug mm -hmm. for him, who's very mm -hmm. supportive, and decided this was something we really needed in Kern County. So it, it worked in many ways where it got all of the youth from far and wide, all over Kern County together, working together, as well as the Rotary Clubs, with the focus being youth. Nice. So yeah. the age group specific would be high school, is that correct? High school. High school. Yes. Okay. And um, what is the actual mission of, of Kern Yes? Okay, you're going to put me on the spot because uh, it is written bit. down. <laughs> the mission, the basic mission is to empower these students, mainly the students that are in the center of the spectrum. You've got your top students that are AP gate students, and you've got your bottom, I don't want to call them bottom, but mm -hmm. the students that need extra attention. They're either failing or they're in trouble. Then you've got the middle child syndrome students where they're the ones that are kind of left behind. All they need is just the right tools and a little bit of push. And some of these kids will never go to RILA because they're not in that spec spectrum, if you want to say, for, for lack of a better mm -hmm. terminology. Mm -hmm. So we, th that is the, the focus, is these students that just need a little bit of a push to make them leaders. And then to go back to their high schools and infect their high schools with what they have learned. And hopefully those who are not interactors start an interact club at their high school and also collaborate with one another now that they're friends. So it sounds like it's kind of a more inclusive RILA. In other words, yes, it it's, it's not exclusive. Anybody could get in there, so you're catering to the larger group. Catering to a larger group, it's pretty much a one-day RILA mm -hmm. because it is uh, fashioned or modeled just like RILA, only okay. it's one full day in it. We call it RILA on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> and the people involved, the staff uh, and the speakers, who are they and where do they come from? They're amazing. We have our chief of police, mm -hmm. uh, Martin, 
Lyle Martin, who came for our inaugural year last year. He's very pro-youth, uh, speaks at the current high school district and other places as well, is a very dynamic human being with an amazing background. Looking at him and speaking with him, you would not know that he had the kind of upbringing that he had, and so he shares that with the students. He was so impressed with the program the first year that he asked if he could come back. And so now he's a permanent yeah. fixture. He's coming yes. back for a third year. Um, Tabitha Christopher was discovered by CBS. She's a dynamic speaker who is a storyteller who talks about her upbringing um, and is just, um, I don't know how to describe her. You'd have to watch and to listen to her. She's amazing. And she, she really gets to the kids in the mm -hmm. heart of what they need to hear, but they, and they really take it in. Good. Good. Yeah. And the staff would be volunteer Rotarians, Rotaractors, they're that all, help run it? All the above. Okay. Uh, it's not, it, they're all volunteers. All of us are volunteers. Mm -hmm. The board is comprised of at least one member of every Rotary Club okay. that um, is involved and sponsor this program. Okay. By the way, this program was just one full day program with feeding the kids and uh, wow. busing them and all of them, we bus them from Bakersfield all the way to Taft, which okay. is about 40, 45 minute ride. Uh, it costs about 12,000 to $14,000 for the day. Wow. So we wow. have great sponsorships. Okay, so it's all sponsored then? It's all sponsored, nice. yes. No, no cost to the uh, students? None, not to the Very students good. at all. And how about the location? Let's, let's hear about where it's at. The location is fabulous. It's an old fort I don't know what it's fashioned after. <laughs> I should have known this. But um, anyway, it's an old fort in Taft that Rotary has helped to maintain and upkeep. So they love Rotary. Mm. And the location is wonderful because you're taking the kids away from their normal area. And they're all coming together. And they're traveling together to that spot in Taft. Mm. And it's beautiful. You will see in the pictures. It's Great. a beautiful location. and security couldn't be better. So Sounds good. Well, with that, let's jump into some All of right. the pictures because you All did right. send some along with you. All right. So we'd love to see what's going on here. Great. Let's uh, go ahead and cue that one up. First picture we have here is the Empower. That is uh, actually, um, is that yours or is that uh, one of the stock photos from Rotary? That is ours. That is all nice. of us. The nice. guy laying back in the middle being really goofy with the jeans, that's my husband, Steve Gibbs, <laughs> who's past president of Bakersfield East Rotary. Wait, a he's usually a photographer. How do you do that? Right? <laughs> we Just had other you. right. Okay. We had other people offered so that he could be in the photo. Nice. A lot oh, of times great. he's never in the photo. <laughs> okay. And this is both of us. Um, Very good. Right. Uh, probably it's daylight because it's a full day. Right in the beginning, they caught us. Mm -hmm. So now the shirts, um, those go to the attendees or it's the staff? And the both. blue, sorry for yeah, stepping yeah. on you. Uh, mm -hmm, no the problem. blue shirts go to the staff and volunteers, and okay. the white shirts are for the students Got so it. we can distinguish them. Got and it. also, white shirts, the students sign each other's shirts at the end of the sure. day. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, Yes, it's, it's, right. I, I sent that along to give you an idea of the depth of the hall yeah. at, at Taft. It's just a beautiful location, but we had a full house. How many did you, do you figure you had there? Um, last year we had about 110, and okay. this year we were just shy of 100. Okay. We Good are turnout. targeting 120 next year. Okay. And this is the chief of police who uh, was our keynote speaker, a very dynamic, amazing human being, who now wants to, of course, return next year. Mm -hmm. Without hesitation, if it's about students, if it's about the kids, he will always say yes. Now, the day starts at what time for them? The day starts about 6 o'clock wow. for everyone. For okay. the volunteers, it starts about 5 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. Um, because we have registration. We have a bus location in mm -hmm. Bakersfield where we set up tables. Okay. Each student gets registered, permission slips get taken, you know, all of that mm -hmm. administrative right. stuff. They get their T-shirts, their lanyards, mm -hmm. and they get put on a bus to Taft. Okay. So, so they actually, they're actually the processed in Bakersfield yes. before leaving. Right. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Let's jump into some more pictures here. Okay. Oh, fun. So this is our wonderful district governor, Sandy, who addressed the, um, the group mm -hmm. before we started. Very good. That was great. Must be a tall building because uh, she's got some headroom there. Oh, there's a lot of room up there. Yeah, it's a tall <laughs> building. Thank goodness. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ethics workshop. Uh, there's comprised of four workshops. This is one of them. It's ethics led by our Rotaractor and uh, Rotarian. That one is my husband. He leads that one. And the uh, president of the Bakersfield Rotaract mm -hmm. Club uh, leads it along with him. Okay. Okay. And there's another workshop which is called Diversity, mm -hmm. and that one's run by Wes Morris okay. of Taft Club. Tell me a little bit about that program, that diversity. Um, what is the exercise reflecting on or focusing on? The differences be between us um, talking about beliefs okay. and the differences and trying to understand each other's okay. points of view. So, oh, that's good. Yes. Okay. So you bring out the individualism of each and then reflect that back to where everybody accepts that part of it. Correct. Nice. And also that's it's good. a good exercise in listening and listening to oh, each other true. and each other's point of view okay. and affirming each other's point of view. And mm -hmm. so then also being able to explain your own. So makes, through makes, understanding makes is how we come to peace. Right. So, so that's it does part both. of it. Yes. Understanding outward and inward. Right. Exactly. It's a great yeah. exercise. <laughs> <laughs> now, I haven't seen that guy before. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that picture, by the way, because now we could uh, keep showing that to Steve. <laughs> I know. I, I wanted to uh, in, inject a little humor. We have a lot of fun. It's an exhausting day. It's, it's mm -hmm. easy, easy, a 15, 16 hour day, not to mention all the work that goes before that and the evening before <laughs> in preparation. So, we had a photo booth. Uh, Rotor actor <laughs> Noah Salinas from Bakersfield has a photo booth that she um, donated this nice. year for us. And that came out of the photo booth at the <laughs> very end of the day. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, all my hamming and the glasses was to hide the dark circles under my eyes. <laughs> and Steve is just being his goofy self. <laughs> Looks like the biggest kid in the shop there. He is. He really. He's a lot of fun. He really he is. is. Yes, Steve is a good guy. <laughs> okay, I love this picture. Mm -hmm. This was last year. Okay. And I'm very proud of this, and I'm very proud of everyone that came together to put yes, um, to make yes happen. And everyone here, including uh, Sandy, our district governor, um, Steve, myself, <laughs> the uh, president, I'm going to put you on the spot. Go ahead and sure. start naming those off so we okay, can you know who sure, they are. Okay, sure, absolutely. The back row, there's Jennifer Yamauchi. She mm -hmm. is one of my heroes. She is an advisor for the Interact Club, one of the very first people to say yes to yes. She <laughs> okay. goes along with my crazy ideas, so we're partners in crime. She's also a Rila counselor. She's an amazing, right. amazing human being. Wes Morris is um, also another person that said yes to yes right away. And uh, he's from the Taft Rotary Club, mm -hmm. and he's the advisor for the Taft High School Interact Club. The blonde, you know. <laughs> <laughs> going across, there's my husband with the glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, going on the other side in the front, Chris Munoz uh, was the vice president last year of the Centennial Interact Club. Okay. He's this year's president. Okay. Last year's pre uh, pres president is Tanvir Dhaliwal and, uh, of Centennial Interact, mm -hmm. and this year she uh, is alongside me as the dis district uh, liaison to interact. Good. It's an amazing kid. She's on her way to UCLA after she graduates this mm -hmm. year. Right. And of course, district governor and Oz the Guzman, who is the president of the Bakersfield Rotaract Club and then dual member of the Twilight Rotary oh, okay. Club. Good. Did not know that. Great. Yeah. This is an article from the Bakersfield Californian. Uh, Towards the end of the day, right about before dinner, every group, there's four color groups, and most of us Rotarians know what Riley is and what the color groups are. So the counselors get together and they vote on the person that's shown the most growth during the whole day. And uh, these are the winners from each of the color groups. Very nice. Now there's four color groups then? Total? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's good. And here's the, the whole bunch again. Wow. Uh, wow. Right in the front steps of the uh, of Taft Fort, the auditorium, mm -hmm. right. where you saw the interior photos of. That's impressive. It looks like a good group right there. It's a great group. <laughs> so each group is about 25 people then, correct? About 25, 25. yes. Now, are they broken down 
mixed by schools, or is this, is this just a random selection? Oh, it's not random. We, we are very careful to make sure that as many diverse high schools are in one group. Okay. The whole okay. idea is for the students to get to know each other, become friends. True. True. And a lot of them now, I hear, are getting together. They're, oh, that's good. Yeah, they're staying in touch, and they're planning projects, which is amazing. Outstanding. Yes. So you do stay in touch with them beyond that? Yes, time. yes, how, Now, how would you do that? There's um, social media. The kids actually okay. stay in touch with each other independently. Okay. Okay. Um, they all have a Facebook page or Instagram page or a Snapchat or what have you. Okay. And so I hear also from the parents. <laughs> I had one instance, one parent in particular was telling me that she decided to sign up her son without telling him. <laughs> so, yeah, 5.30 in the morning, she's driving up and she's dropping him off, and he's just not happy, too tired to be really too angry. Of course. So at the end of the day, she, she told me the next day, actually, she picked him up late in the evening. It was about 11 o'clock in the wow. evening, so it's a long day. Wow, that is a long day. And um, she was waiting for the onslaught that she was going to get. She mm -hmm. thought, oh, I am going to get it. He could not stop talking about the amazing day wow. that he had. Oh, nice. So he, he went back home as late as it was, energized and mm -hmm. excited about great. the program. That's, that's a good success story. Right? right? That, that yes. Is, that is great. Now, also, uh, being that long, from 6 to 11 o'clock at night, three meals? Three meals. And who's doing the, the meals? Is it sponsored by the, I would say, the fort, the community center? Or well, actually, do you guys have to do it? Well, we have a caterer who's a wonderful, okay. wonderful people who do a lot of events for Rotary. Okay. We do pay for it, but they do give us a nice discount. That's it's Flacco's Tacos from Taft, okay. so we stayed local, okay. and they do an amazing job. Then as the, the Rotarians, uh, Jennifer this year and last year took it over, we have snacks out there 24-7, hmm. water, juice, fruit, uh, all kinds of things. So during breaks and any time the kids had two tables full of hmm. food and snacks. So one way to keep them alive and going and energized is to feed them. Good. Now, um, the Taft Club, being that local there, do they also have uh, participation in your program? Sure. We okay. have volunteers from every club. Oh, and nice. this year was the first year we had. Last year we had about six. This year we had 13 Rotary Clubs. Taft, wow. of course, wow. have been there from day one. Right. And Wes being on the board as a TAF member. Of course. Now, do they also send their interactors to this program? Yes, they do. Okay, yeah, so you're coming do. in from everywhere then. Everywhere. Kern mm. River Valley uh, came as oh, well. Oh, wow. Uh, no, there's yeah. a drive. Either, have, that would have been more than 6 o'clock. They came the day, the night okay. before. Okay. They, they were amazing. And, um, yeah, from everywhere, from all over Kern County, Tehachapi included. Good. So let's uh, run the video. You brought okay, a video. Yes. Kind of get a feel of what it's really mm -hmm. like there in real sure. time. So um, with that, let's go ahead and roll that video. Don't be afraid to be that first follower. If somebody has a good idea, maybe you, went, you weren't that first person with it, say, hey, you know what? I believe in your uh, idea too. And, and encourage them. And I guarantee you, that first person that steps in, everybody else will step in. Life 
goes in cycles. I'm not always this upbeat. You know what I mean? That's why you gotta surround yourself with good people who recognize that. So when you're on your down, there's somebody there to pick you up because they know you'll be there to pick them up when they're down. Do more than what's expected of you and surround yourself with good people because people know if they call me, I will be there, I will perform, and I'll go above and beyond for them. We all come at the same start, the same beginning, and where we end is totally up to us. And you know, a lot of people kind of take a coin and they kind of flip that coin and go, well, you know, if it comes up heads, I'm gonna be successful. And if it comes up tails, then, you know, maybe I won't be. But if our lives really work like that, then our lives would be based on chance. And our life is not anything to do with chance. It has everything to do with the choices that we make. Your life will not be determined by the dreams you dream, but by the choices you make. From the moment that you were conceived, to you being able to get here, your beginning was good. It doesn't matter what you came into. It doesn't even matter who you came through. Because you came, the moment you were conceived, the moment that you left your mother's womb and you entered here, your beginning was good. No matter what your situation is, no matter what experiences you're going through, your beginning was already good. And because of that, you are destined to win if you will to. video there Good, thank you. <laughs> really get the feel of what that was all about the um, video itself that was shot professionally then a friend yes, of yours it then, or? yes it was Give junior it Tobias okay. um, actually did it for almost nothing well, nice. very little he enjoyed it so much that he came back the second year good so. now what do you see um, as you get the students graduating through do you anticipate any of them coming back to give back to the program this current yes seems like an outstanding program it's funny, I actually have two students who were seniors last year. Although we don't encourage seniors to come to the program, mm -hmm. if the club wants to send them, they do. They came back and volunteered. Very nice. So only our second year, we'll see, but <laughs> I hope so. That's good, and the program itself, so well thought out. Have you received any awards for this? Last year, we that picture where I was naming, you put me on the spot and named everybody, <laughs> um, was we were nominated for a PEAK Award by the Kern High School District our oh. very first year, which is huge. Just being on the list is huge. Mm -hmm. We didn't win, but just being Good. nominated. Congratulations. Thank you. And then this year, uh, the Chamber of Commerce has nominated us for Kern Yes for a beautiful Bakersfield Award. Very nice. Which is also I, a huge... And I believe you have a photo of that, don't we? Is there a picture yeah, of that one? I think there's a, just... There you go. <laughs> oh, great. Outstanding. So you were named on that one. A nominator, yeah. Nominee. Mm. Nominee. Nominee. Sorry. Nominee. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Outstanding. No, Thank good you. for you, though. Yes. Uh, that means that the word's getting out. Word's getting out. Word's That's getting important. Out. That's yes. good. And so in the future, I would say next year you're looking at it maybe 125 or so. Do you envision it getting larger where mm. you'd have to do maybe multiple weekends, something like that? Maybe down the line, but right now, no. We okay. don't want to dilute the program right. for the students that do attend. And the venue and the time issue. For okay. right now, 120 is probably our peak. That, that's a good one there. If we and, grow, we'll see. And tell us the uh, communities, because you mentioned uh, Kern River Valley also, and Taft. Well, obviously, Bakersfield, Taft, Kern River Valley, Tehachapi. Okay, you're putting me, Shafter, Wasco, <laughs> <laughs> Shafter, Wasco, okay, you put me on the spot. There's 13 of them. Okay. So, well, the I know only I'm forgetting some. Outside would be Delano, but. De I, oh, absolutely, Delano. Oh, good, good I, to yes. be plugged them in there. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't sure. want to get in trouble, <laughs> no. but there's 13 of them that, that were involved, that including the E-Club, okay. who sponsored the Arvin students. Nice. There's no Rotary Club there or Interact Club. Oh, that's so. true. There's nothing in Arvin. So the E-Club uh, of 5240 sponsored 
the art and students. Great, great. Yeah. Now, did you also realize that Taft is the dead center geographically of all of our district? I didn't till after <laughs> we chose the location okay. and someone brought it to our attention. I thought, well, that's perfect. That is perfect. It is really perfect. It was meant to be. Kismet. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. Yes. Well, perfect. So the students themselves, um, I would say, do you have a limit of how many come from each of the regions or it's whoever they want to bring? Well, we do have a limit. We have about 26 high schools altogether, okay. so about four to five per high school. Okay. And then as we do the registration process and we have more room, just like Ryla, we open up spaces to other schools. They will have uh, kids on a waiting list. And the selection process, how is that done and who handles that? We give them a criteria of the type of student that the program is geared to, and then it's up to the Rotary Club and uh, actually the high school. Okay. The high school counselor and the assistant principal of instruction choose the students. Wow. So it's actually... They do their registration, yeah. Well-collaborated effort then. Very well-collaborated. Wow, that's excellent. Between three Kern, uh, Kern High School District and uh, Delano and Taft okay. and Tehachapi District. Now, have you heard the program actually being promoted by the schools then? It should be. Okay. I think Just it curious. is. Uh, it's been spoken about at assistant principals and principals meetings mm -hmm. and also their current superintendent of schools okay. who actually she was on our board our very mm -hmm. first year okay. and got behind the program. Now I know in Riley you have um, sports seasons, you know, time of the year where it's always difficult to do that. Um, have you seen conflicts with that as far as the sports, the high school sports events like that where it would draw away from students? Not that much. Good. The end of February seems to be a good good timing, okay. so not too much. Okay, good. Yeah. And it would probably be a comfortable weather-wise. Otherwise, it would probably get pretty warm in Taft. It was much later than that. Last year was really warm. Was it? And it was the beginning of February. We <laughs> chose the end of February thinking it would be warmer, and mm -hmm. it was pretty chilly. Okay. So we don't know what the weather is going to be like, but the venue That's is beautiful, true. and if we need heaters, we can get them out there. So. Okay. How do you make it a point to where the students come in, realize that it's actually a Rotary event and Rotary sponsored? Is there a way that you kind of push that to them or get them to understand that? Yes, of course. We've got our district governor speaking mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. um, doing a short uh, thing on Rotary. Mm -hmm. And we do have interactors that come up at the very beginning of the program when everybody's gathering, having their breakfast, okay. to speak about Interact. And then we pass out uh, four-way test cards with the information on the back, four-way test on one, information on the other side on uh, how, if you want an Interact Club, this is how you do it and the information. Great. Right. Well, we are actually out of time, so right. thank you very much thank for you. an outstanding program. Thank you. With that, everybody, if you get a chance, take a look at Kern Yes, because that is one outstanding program and it's given back to the youth. With that, thank you very much. We will see you next time.